Greetings, fellow scavengers. Welcome along to this video where I talk about Sentry and its room lock mode. You are currently watching the recording of me doing Dusk Daily for 8 of April, where we were on a private bee with swine with a lot of loot in that room and Sentry. So. I'm currently pretty much interested with Sentry's uh, quote-unquote room target or room lock mode, whatever you can call that. And I did a test, an extra test for this uh, 8th of April, uh, the Duskers Daily. But I was really not sticking it too much. Um, I want to go back on that part bit. Okay, so... Slime is in room 4, I didn't bother to find it for some reason because I thought there will be another probably terminal that had the ship scan or something and the sentry is in room 7, right? So, the reason why I call this a room locker mode because uh, when you open D4 sometime until it started, it decided to either move towards D4 or at least just turn it its back just a bit towards D4 be, it already enabled its uh, room targeting mode, so until you start to open that uh, door leading to the access to this room, I think this is room 9, yeah, this is room 9, it will not forget the memory of this room, even when you open certain doors leading to that room. So, what I did here, um... Let's show my process here of... Uh, Alright, so, this is what I did. I think I was uh, a bit hesitant to do that, that first because I had yet to open T7 along with uh, opening certain other doors. Uh, just want to test its uh, padding until it leads to D11. So what I did was to open D4 like this. Yeah. And the sentry is moving already to D4. And now I open D8. And now... I was thinking of following the sentry this way because the sentry already disappeared from D4's uh, front and look where it goes. From door to door, it was just going its uh, padding. Didn't care of all the obstacles and such because of course, um, enemies don't collide with the uh, blocks and stuff. So I was thinking to actually follow it, but uh, I didn't, of course, do that here. It already blocked D5. When I opened D11, it moved to the towards the the defense room because I did have its padding to the defense room. Also, notice where it died. It didn't die in the center of this defense room. It died when uh, once I opened D11. Because I did set it, uh, it's a room lock mode there, when I opened D4 and the sentry started to move towards uh, the room. Yeah, so that happened, interestingly. And I figured as soon as I opened D11, because um, I did close all for some reason. <laughs> mm. Oh wait, never mind. I already closed that or something. Wait, I forgot, what, what did I do before? Wow, uh... Okay, I already killed the sentry from this uh, time pattern. Okay, I did close all, but when I started to open the, reopen the 11, because its room mode is in room 3. Why did I say room 9? I forgot, because my room was on top of it and I didn't notice its number, but yeah. It immediately moved as soon as I opened D11 while the sentry was still in the middle of this because I thought uh, it already arrived at room 5 or something. Yeah, so that happened. Time skip. Uh, yeah, time skip and that's how you kill the sentry even without moving it to the center of the defense room. But for now, enjoy this compilation of me trying to get to the sentry route. So 
So last week I found something interesting about sentries. So I'm not going to kill this bot right away because I want to experiment with its padding. So here's the thing, right? The sentry comes back here. Yeah, doing its thing. And then it soon goes back here and then yeah, do that stuff, right? So it's already like targeting its path from room 13 to room 3. And I already closed room 20 because that's how sentries are. Now here is the thing, right? When you open D9, you will expect the sentry to be around uh, this area. But I think as soon as I open D9, see where it goes. Oh, never mind, that doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do it uh, this way then. How about I return you... Oh no no. I'm going to open D23 instead and uh, I'm gonna let the sentry to be in here. Yeah, it's going towards here, right? Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open D20 along with D9 and see where the sentry goes. I think the sentry is around that uh, room targeting mode. Look at that! Instead of Staying around room 13 and staying at the center of it, it goes to room 3 instead because it's already targeted that way. So uh, I'm going to do the same for the sentry to go to room 3, uh, to room 13 via room 3, right? So I'm opening the 20, letting the sentry going around here. There you go. Okay, and then I'm going to open d 23 and d 9. You will expect the sentry will be around the center of room 9 instead of going in here. But lo and behold, Look at that! <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of uh, something about the sentry padding once it's around its uh, room targeting mode. Alright, come here. So you will expect the sentry to go to room 15, right? Right. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> Wow. Wow. This next experiment will have a little bit of a dangerous factor with slime in it. But uh, I have the sentry in room 5. So what I'm going to do is to drag the sentry here. Quickly close it as soon as it moves, I think. Okay. It's making it move. Okay. So, D26, D15, D19, D11. I don't know how much factor this will play, but it'll be interesting if the sentry can move here somehow. Whoa! Look at that! That is speedy! Okay, that's it. No, no, not gonna catch it though. That is amazing! What in the world, man? That was crazy! For the sentry to travel to from room 5 to room 9 that fast? Alright, let, let's try one more time. Uh, that one time never comes, alright? Let me give you a bit of a spoiler on that part because... Um, I got really too hype on this part, definitely. Uh, because the main signal was about to lose, I decided to just uh, freaking wait into the into my ducking bay because I thought like it would not be much of a use if I didn't know what room I would be uh, trying to get the sentry experiment going on because yeah, that sucks so much. And then going to the next um, next segment of the video that I was recording, um, yeah, things were okay. A bit of a spoiler of uh, what I tried next in this part. 
I think for the final thing, I try to return that sentry back to. Oh, whoa, sorry. You know what? Yeah. I was intending to return the sentry back to room 5 just to ensure that one theory one more time by opening D19, D15, D26, and D14. And then, as soon as it goes, things went a wall from here. Yeah, freaking sentry, freaking uh, rock slime at 8 minutes. Beautiful. Cannot be more beautiful than that. I so yeah, that's a thing. Now we're just gonna proceed to the next uh, segment of the video, of course, which will involve much grander experiment. Well, not exactly that kind of like more well, like grander thing, but this will prove that Sentry can be smarter in the next spec, like not that stupid apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I know another interesting experiment where I get the sentry to room 5, few, and then open the 21, the 11, the 10, all the stuff, all the way up to room 6. And then we will see how it reacts. Only if the radiation leak doesn't bother me or something, that will be sweet. Alright. There it is. Oh, this is gonna be something. Yes. Oh, what a perfect, perfect routing for the sentry to just come around all these doors to eventually come to that uh, room that it uh, previously targeted to move. Look at this! Wait, 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 I wonder, I wonder. Alright. Does that... Does that get to disrupt its... It just temporarily disrupt... Get... It just temporarily got disrupted that way. What the heck? Okay, I have another experiment that I want to do. Uh, let's return the sentry to D42. Has it complied? It has complied. Except the door gets blocked. Yeah, I, I, it's fine. I think there's still some other way for me to uh, tow that theory drone. Okay. Mm. Go 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 Wow. Alright alright. This is away from the center of that room, please. Jeez. Already took myself 81 damage from the sentry bullet. Oh fuck. Back to God. I needed it more, man. Let's see with this one. Really, as soon as this happens, uh, the radiation is gonna start, man. Okay, good. Duh. So. There. Wow, look at that! Whoa! Yeah, I think as soon as the new path for the sentry to that, that targeted room has been made, it's gonna go there. That's an interesting telling, I have to say. Ooh. Well, not exactly that kind of telling, more like um, 
the more you learn about that sentry kind of rooting thing. Hmm. Alright, let me do this one more time. Now I want the sentry to go to this room that I'm, uh, I'm currently in, but towards the long way to here. Um, can I fit myself in? Okay, good, 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 good. Sentry is still there. Wall is gonna be here. So, what I want the upper, the door that I want to open is the 10, the 11, the 21. Okay, I can still go to that uh, transporter signal. <laughs> this is completely fine. Alright, now. I don't want to close all doors. Oh, that's light. Crap. <laughs> so. But the 39 for a bit. Alright, that should do. Um, D23. Let's see where it goes. It has a bit of a buffer. Oh, crap. Ah, I didn't open D42. That's a fatal mistake of this experiment. So, it's gonna go to the center of this room. <laughs> and then, yeah. Okay, that's a bit of a screwy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go, don't go to the tent, please. Now, open the 42, open the 39 to target the sentry to room 5. So that's why it took so long, as if the sentry had a buffer or something. Because I didn't open the 42. It's a fatalist mistake of mine. Alright, that should do. Uh, the 23, I think. It's the 23. Now, she'll be able to determine. It's current destination. Look at that! <laughs> Let's follow the sentry. Oh wait, what the? Oh, now I closed the tent. Are you kidding me? Alright, no. Uh, Alright, whoa. God damn. I am getting tired, but I am very interested to do this uh, kind of trick too. Alright, what's that? The 23. How fast does this sentry? Wow, that's quite fast actually! Like immediately reacting to its new route to that really long... Okay, yeah, it's okay. To this really long padding. What a dedication for such a stupid bot to arrive to its new targeted location. Good job, man. Good job. While it is known that Sentry is one of the most stupid infestation in Dusker's video game, well, it has been proven in this experiment that sentry can be pretty dangerous if you're not being careful on which door you're currently opening. Yeah, there goes my English. It could even go strike to your current uh, room uh, when you get your sentry near uh, targeting your room and then for some reason you let some doors open to your the room you're currently in because um, Sentries can be dangerous when some bad alternative path to your current room is presented this way. On the plus side, I have tested this kind of a sentry room lock thing on the on this Dusker's Daily or the 9 of April 2020, where um. Okay, so this is the situation that I'm just going to strike, uh, to give and strike away. Sentries in room 6. Room A have been exposed to the little bit of a radiation buildup from room 10 via D15. And I think it only took about 5 or so more seconds before it eventually radiates room 8. And with this sentries room lock thing, 
this is what I did. So I opened D13, the sentry was there. I'm waiting for the sentry to move to D13. It's currently remembering room 9 as its target, targeted room. And as long as, as I was not long enough to let the sentry to be in here, because apparently you have to note as well that sentry will eventually forget uh, its targeted room when you leave it there for long enough. So instead of going to room 8 and then to room 9, by going from door to door, it will just go to room 8 and just inspect the room from the center as uh, how Swarm and Leaper behaves basically when it goes to one room and another when not being provoked by the drone basically so yeah and then I decided to build up the room 8 uh, radiation eventually along with opening the access to room 9 alternatively of course, this does not show in the video because uh, I'm just preparing my myself to see the sentry on whether it shows here. And then radiation flood starts to flood room 8 when the sentry is already here. Look at that! Instead of staying at the center of room 8, it immediately goes to the room that I'm currently in. So as soon as that happened, I close the door. So that I took the sentry scrap in front of the doorway instead of uh, letting myself to go to the center of the room causing more damage. It's a bit of a bug there. <laughs> Thanks to the recording. Yeah. So yeah, basically sentry will die eventually in 50 seconds uh, during partially radiated room. And it will die by 20 seconds dur during fully radiated room. Because partially radiated room grants you 2 points of damage per tick, while the full one grants you 5. Sentry has 100 HP. So yeah, you do the math thing, basically. Uh, yeah, and that's what I did. I was just basically waiting. Um, in this situation, slime was in, uh, was in a factor too, so I wasn't able to take my... Uh, I'll leave two points of damage because uh, this was the reason why I moved back was because the slime timer wasn't in factor too. So yeah, that also counts to the factor. So yeah, overall you can even build up your sentry a snaky path to the room you're currently in if you're not being careful enough and stuff and stuff. So yeah, I think that concludes this experiment basically. Thanks for watching, and here's the ending for this video despite that uh, Discord ping. Never mind that, right? Just, just a friend of mine. Sadly, for now, as adorable looking as you are, Here goes nothing. Alright, let's go. That's enough experiment. Ah! Oh! It's room 11, not room 12. Wow, that's like one number off. Alright, alright, experiment over, experiment over.